Revenge is a prominent theme in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word. It appears in several different songs, including Revenge Twofold, which is what this video is about today, Revenge of the Horde, and it appears in thematic elements like in Asinian's hunt for revenge against the dragons. So I want to listen to Revenge Twofold today, look at a few of the leitmotifs that appear in this, as they tend to do with Soken's music, and also dissect and explore some of the inner workings of what makes Revenge Twofold so great. Let's check it out. So a few things that make Revenge Twofold really interesting to me is as it starts off with this First of all, this most of this track is actually a sped up version of I believe the dragon song or the dragon speech from Heaven's Word, the uh, the actual trailer for Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word. Check it out. Pretty cool that we take literally a 10 second little excerpt from uh, another song and we create an entire two minute track around it. That's a sped up version of what we just listened to. And it's cool that because, even though it's sped up, it actually feels a bit more plodding and a bit more serious and a bit more dire because we have the uh, horns and the drums. Now let's listen to it. Let's start it over and check this out. So a few cool things right there is you have the horns going and then also underneath you also have the drums those two things the horns elevate it and the drums really root it in that battle theme and then as we listen on then we get the strings coming in Underneath, we also have the piano. Not only are we, that's also interesting layering, but what's cool about this is that it's all to uh, give us dire straits. You have the drums, you have the brass, and then you have the piano in the upper register as sort of like, oh, a bit of uncertainty in there. Now that's also interesting. The, the strings there are beautifully melodic, and I think that the strings are to highlight the sense of pressure and the sense of stress and the sense of concern. Obviously, in all battle themes, generally speaking, there's always going to be a sharp rhythmic pattern, unless there's some sort of musical twist or, or a plot twist where actually the music is slow and a little bit more. Uh, battle themes don't have to be rhythmically fast, but generally speaking, we see this across the board. Bum, 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 Very much fits the, the mold for what we would consider a standard battle theme. And so the strings over top, that is all to give us this sensation of, of fear of, oh no, like this could be bad. Like this is a life and death situation. And also don't forget that in every battle theme, the stakes are always exceptionally high. In general, in acting, which applies to plot in general, all, all throughout plot points and in, in, in performance and in music and everything. The stakes have to be very high for our characters. So even though we are the warriors of light in this case, the stakes are very high and we could still die at the hands of whatever, in this case, Tozo Hualtol. But, you know, it, it's, a very, it's a very important thing to remind ourselves that battle themes are the way they are because the stakes are always life and death. Crunch.
Really quickly before we switch into this Torn from the Heavens portion of this, I want to look at these lyrics that were written by uh, Michael Christopher Koji Fox uh, for the Eorzean Symphony concert in 2017. In the original, it's a bunch of nonsensical lyrics, but but uh, let me try my uh, my dragon tongue here. Sai a la morn in o sai a sa fa. Extinction or eternal redemption, thou must choose. Shes i gar i nidhog dran a fa. Behold the wrath of worm nidhog eternal. Sai a la morn in o sai a sa a fa. Extinction or eternal redemption, thou must choose. Sek anesh se a no as an. Or we shall melt thy flesh and see thy bones to ash. Wills unbending, faith unending, stone defending, now our steel shall sing. To their trespass we are witness, here to pass this final sentence. No forgiveness, guide us, O mighty fury. No deliverance, only justice, only revenge. No forgiveness, guide us to victory. No deliverance, only justice only vengeance which is really i mean profound right it's very intense it's very heavy you know i love the the dragon tongue here saya la morning on saya sa extinction or eternal redemption thou must choose you know it's very talks about the i don't know why we're talking why the lyrics would be here for this particular fight but that that's fine but, you know we think about nidhog being the the big bad of heaven's word in a lot of ways shesigari uh, nidhog dranafa behold the Wrath of Worm Nidhogg Eternal. Sai al amor in Osayasafa. You know, you can picture it. Sekanesh Seano Ansan. Or we shall melt thy flesh and see thy bones to ash. And I think. I think that's where the high stakes come in because it is in general, not just in this particular instance of Revenge Twofold or this particular boss theme, uh, boss moment, not necessarily particularly about this boss encounter, but what we have to consider is that this is that eternal battle for thousands of years. No, no peace has been delivered yet, you know? And so the dragons, of course, speak first as they are these huge fire-breathing creatures that will not hesitate, that can easily destroy us in a single blast of fire. And then I think un wheels unbending, faith unending, stone defending, now our steel shall sing, of course, is, is the warriors of Eorzea that refuse to bow down to the dragons and this whole conflict that's occurred. And so it's really cool to hear that in the in the music. Wills unbending, faith unending, stone defending. Defending, now our still shall sing. You know, it really packs a punch of uh, really intense, well, obviously, feelings of this is an eternal battle. We are locked in battle and we will not be defeated. And you know, it just, it hits you. And then of course, now we move into Torn from the Heavens, which is really interesting because that was the dungeon boss theme that we heard throughout A Realm Reborn. And we have a little bit of a hint to it because I believe that this is the first dungeon that we have in Heaven's Word where we don't hear Torn from the Heavens. We hear this new Heaven's Word uh, th version of it, essentially. <laughs> It's a callback. I think that what this, in this version of, in Heaven's Word and Revenge Twofold, I think more than anything, it's more of like a reference to what's come before. And I think in, in some ways, it could also be Soken and Team sort of alluding to the fact that you fought many, many difficult things prior to this moment. And although the stakes are now different in Heaven's Word and in Ishgard and, and this, this part of Eorzea, you fought all this stuff before. So it's not like this. Right, it doesn't have the same, it, it's more of a memory. And the way that we hear that is we hear this piano version of it. It's da, 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 
rather than so we we make that effect with with um with volume so instead of being forte which is loud it's it's piano it's pulled back it's a bit more of a memory when it's pulled back like that and then and then we move into a a little bit of a louder version here Really smooth transition there in back into Revenge Twofold and back into that heavens word. So I think again the Colin it's a bit of a, a hearkening back to it's it's a callback to uh, torn from the heavens that we heard in A Realm Were Born, but with with but I think it's more to do with moving forward into Heaven's Word rather than a true callback. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh, we heard that, and now we we know that theme. That's the battle theme. But wait, this is actually the new battle theme. So it kind of it places us in the scene, and it reminds us that things are different now, and things are different. That things are different, and things have changed, and we're in a new environment, and it's a really it's a fun way to remind the player of where they were and where they are now. Let's listen to one more pass. In a way, too, I actually, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of making this up as I go along, but when we hear the piano, boom, boom. What does that mean? Well, I think in some ways it means, I, I think uh, a lot of Heaven's Word deals with being in the air or flying on a dragon or, or you know, some sort of air battle. And so I wonder if, too, if that's not like cascading dragons or like, you know, dive bombing or fighting things in the air because of where we're approaching in the pitch. We're approaching from the top going down. It's pretty interesting. And now that I'm listening to this again, now I understand again that the lyrics are nonsensical in this version. But when you think about it, if that is the dragon speaking, it's it's much more, the way that it's written is not, it's not big and bad. It's actually, it's, it's gently reminding you. The way that it's written is not forte, it's piano. You know, it's very like extinction or eternal redemption. Thou must choose. Behold the wrath of Worm Nidog Eternal. You know, it's not it's not slapping you in the face with with conflict. That said. That, though, is very much in your face. And then he even said, Will's unbending faith, unending, stone defending, now I still shall sing. It's very, it's very uh, war cry chant, like, you know, over there, over there, send the word, send the word to beware that the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming, the drums rum tom and everywhere, so prepare. You know, it's a battle anthem. You know, my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of, you know what I mean? Like, it's very... Wills unbending, faith unending, which is very different. I think, too, if we're going to go down this route, which we don't necessarily have to, but I think it's kind of interesting to discuss. Um, the dragons don't necessarily need to be so boisterous because the dragons know that they have the power over the Eorzeans. You know what I mean? Like, 
it, it's it's pretty interesting uh, from from a musical perspective. <laughs> Yeah, that that really gentle callback to Torn from the Heavens is um, really interesting to me. And I think a a really smooth way of highlighting what we just spent probably 100 hours doing previously, but reminding us that now we're in a new a new time period, a new era, certainly a new expansion. And I think having melodic light motifs that come back always is fun for us as listeners and as players to be like, oh yeah, that's Torn from the Heaven. Not, you know, at a, at a basic level, it's it's fun to hear a leitmotif that we know and love and have heard over and over and over in a new context. So yeah, as always, I love Final Fantasy XIV. There's a lot more on the channel. Feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, check out the links in the About section. And thanks a ton, and I'll see you later. Bye!